Hello everybody and welcome back to the valley, the old farm. So today I think we really need to get these new little gardens up and running. Now this small one and this one here, I think are going to be the ones to start with because the greenhouse, it needs a few extra things that I've, I've got a feeling is going to hit our bank account quite hard. So we're going to have a look in here, we've got normal things like the water, empty pallets, you know, they're a, they're a good cost, they're not too bad. But it's the solid fertilizer and manure. I've got a feeling, the solid fertiliser especially, I think that's going to hit our bank account quite hard. So we might need to just hold off on this one a little bit until we get some more money. But these, we should be okay. Water, empty pallets. I think that's pretty much it. Let's have a quick look. Let's look down here, you can see. Yeah, okay. Pallets, yeah, that's not bad. Straw, but we could get a bale for that. And water, we just need to go rent a trailer to hold water. But these ones, like I said, solid fertilizer, manure. I've got a feeling the bigger quantities as well. It's gonna take a little bit more money to sort of do them. So I think, really, we could get started on these. Just having a quick look over here at the dealers, and I've decided to take on a forage contract. Now, this is a new mod that we can do on PC where you can take out a forage contract, and I thought let's give it a go because it's gonna look pretty cool. And I've not done much forage work. Now it's give us this equipment here because obviously we don't have any of it. Now this trailer, as we've established if you watch my test video, when you're doing contracts, you need to do all the field. Now forage work is going to take quite a bit of a trailer, unless we get a silo. Now we could get a silo, or our lack of done here, but now I've rented a big trailer. It's a slightly modified trailer, holds 125,000 litres, but I'm not sure, because it's this field here that we've got a forage. Is even that? gonna fit all that i think we might need to lock into a silo but before we get into that let's go sort the gardens out so i'm just here in my tractor and i've got on the back i've leased this water tank now it holds milk slurry fertilizer it holds quite a few different things but i've, I've leased it for now because it's five thousand, and obviously adding the different paint colors and stuff it takes it up a little bit more and it's a little bit again a bit close to our our money to be able to do you know go buy this for now but because leasing it it means we can buy it outright maybe in a few months time now i'm just coming over here to see maybe can we can we back down here it looks quite steep actually i'm just trying to find what we could do for like a water source can we back into here and fill up from here because this would be quite good if we can it's going to be completely free but i'm not sure if we can it's a bit steep maybe it's doable if we just dip the trailer in and not the tractor Oh, we can as well. Look at that. How cool is that? To be honest, I wasn't sure if this was going to work or not. So this holds 20,000 litres. Tractor can pull it out, which is pretty good. Well, that's, a, that's a good start. Let's get to the greenhouses. We'll start, start getting the gardens ready. And maybe then while we're doing that forage contract, we can actually start producing some things. So for now, let's go and fill up this then of the, uh, the the bigger garden. Now, they're going to take a lot. It's about 40,000 litres. So we'll put all this in this one for now. And we'll go back and sort out the little ones. So we've got water in here now. We just need to sort out some pallets. So here the pallets are. Then if you're kind of wondering where to get them from, you can get them in the pallet section in the shop. And obviously, if you go right to the end, you'll see it says here the Valley of the Old Farm mod. It's where you can go buy pallets. Now, we can go for 1,000 litres, which is 550 pounds. I really don't think we need that. I think for now, we'll just go for two. That's a couple hundred. Okay, maybe, maybe let's... Mm, yeah, let's just go for two for now. So we've got pallets just here. Now, we should be able to lift these pallets. As far as I'm aware, they go over here. Yeah, the pallets go in there. So we can put them in here. Oh, look at that. You can stack up your pallets here. We've got water in. Now we just need straw. And I think I'm going to do the same thing again. Now, I have just found out something we can do with this. Oh, look at this. You can cover it. I didn't know you could do that. I tried to pick up the pallet and that happened by accident. Is that for winter time, maybe? Okay, that's pretty cool. So let's go and buy a straw bale. Now, we might be able to get somewhere for it to get it loose. I can't see anywhere on here we can get it loose. I think maybe the straw bale would do because we don't really, again, need too much on here. Look at on here, it takes one for straw. So, yeah, I think straw bale should do. So let's go buy one of them. So one square straw bale, 1,290 pound. 
It's not the cheapest thing in the world. But again, I don't think it's going to be the cheapest thing if we do it loose. Now, because that landed here, it's took it in straight away already. So we go and have a look in here now. You see, that one bale was over 9,000 litres. I've got a feeling that one bale is going to last quite a while. Now, really, we can go and activate lettuce, lettuce red, and melons. Look at that! We have our first garden, and then we can actually cover them as well. I'm not sure what covering does. Does that help uh, do anything? I'm not sure. If you know, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Now, they are going to take a little bit of time, because it's not a very quick process. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and get some more water for this. We'll get this one running. And then, we can take on the forage contract. So, I've gone through and sorted these out now. So, this has got water and I've gone and topped up and done a few trips back and forth. Gone and topped up all the waters to the, the max. I've put the covers on. I'm not sure if that's going to help or not. It looks quite cool though. Added a few more pallets in. You'll see the band balances took a battering. 1,118 left. That might be to do with this. I couldn't help myself. I've literally gone and got some more pallets. I bought a couple of bags of fertilizer, which is like, what, 3,600? That was a bit expensive. And I bought some pallets of um, manure. And the good thing is, you see, if you kind of put this in here as well, like that, you can buy the pallets and it also it sort of lands here and takes it straight in. So that was, <laughs> that was a good way around it. I got some water in here and as you can see, we've got like tomatoes, strawberries, lettuce and melons and all that going on here. So not much in here. In the, in the way of capacity wise you see on here like waters full fertilizer it, it should last a little bit it only takes one fertilizer so i'm hoping it'd be okay straw manure and pallets we'll see how it goes but i think for now we can shut the door and um yeah we're not really going to see much action here for a little while because uh, i'm hoping these don't do they grow will they grow more like physically will we sort of see a difference do you think not sure I mean, it, it can't go through the covers. The, the covers are there for a reason. I think it would just protect them a little bit. And obviously, we've got this enclosed in here, and that's going to protect them. So, yeah. Well, I think that's pretty much it for the garden now. But we can't do much. We're only on, like, 0 0.5 on time. We're, like, you know, not very fast at all because I've got a harvesting contract. Sorry, a forage harvesting contract to do. So, let's get on with that. Now, just before we get into the harvesting job, down here on our new plot of land, now, see, we've got the grass here i'm thinking over here and i think i said this in the last episode over here i'm thinking this is where we could have the sheep have a nice like sheep pasture here and then over this side i do think it would be quite nice to get a silo because i'm a little worried this forage harvesting contract even though i've got a trailer which holds 125,000 liters i still think forage contracts or forage jobs can run away with how much like space they take up so i'm thinking if we get a silo then we are going to be safe so one thing i did forget to mention on here i should have mentioned this at the start of the episode i did go and do some uh fertilizing jobs as you can see here just to give us a little bit of money so i just wanted to show you there you can see that they've all been completed i've not accepted the money yet because i wanted to show you that there you can see it's completed because i didn't want it, the bank balance to suddenly jump up now i know i'm not showing the fertilizing jobs but it's only because otherwise it'll be fertilizing jobs in every single episode and don't really want that so you can see here it's done so we can go ahead and collect the money from that that and that and then there's the active forage harvesting job which we've got to do on a wheat field so we now have 21,845 i just think that way's better you can see that the jobs are done there without the money just suddenly jumping up and you'll be like oh where's that come from so i'm thinking let's go and have a look see if we can put maybe a silo here then we can tackle the contract. Okay, so I might have got a little bit carried away remodeling this little area here. We have some more trees in, separating the bush years, putting a silo in here, which is a very nice silo, and it holds quite a lot, if I'm honest. About 500 million, I think. Yeah, silly amount. Now, bank balance has gone down a little bit. We're just shy of 6,000. But I did decorate around here. It's quite nice. Bit of meadow over here. We'll be able to put the sheep in at some point. A few more trees, just to separate it a little bit without being a hard separation. Because that is obviously our field and our, our greenhouse and garden areas up there. Yeah, it looks pretty good, this does. Feel free, let me know what you think in the comments below. And let me know if you think we should do some more bits on here. Obviously, we're going to get some sheep. 
Do we maybe get some chickens? Bees? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But now, we've got a forage harvesting contract to do. So we're going to jump into this then. We will go and hook up to this, what looks a right lethal weapon on the front of this. Look at this. We'll hook up to this. And then just around the corner here, I have gone and bought, because this does obviously, it's a forage harvester, so we can get some silage added here. I've gone and bought some little canisters there, 60 litres. I think there's a whole 60 litres? Oh, 20 litres. Okay, I could have got away with one. But I mean, if we're going to do some more contracts, that will come in quite handy. I'm going to grab my least trailer, not the one that come with the contract. And obviously, the good thing is it does fit on the back of here. So we'll be able to just go hook it straight up to this. We'll go take it round. It's this field just on the right here. So I'll go round. I'll see you there. That's something that I didn't realise. I didn't realise you could actually go and forage the wheat. I mean, this is a wheat field here. But it's not quite ready. I didn't realise you could go and forage it. So this is. I've learned something new here. So we'll, we'll just put the pipe out. We should be able to unfold this as well. So we are learning something new here. Well, I am anyway. I don't, you might know, but yeah, I didn't realise you could go and forage. Let's give it a go. Look at that. Well, you see, I never knew that we could... Let's just back away a little bit. I never knew that you could forage wheat like this. As long as you get it before it's ready. Before it's actually ready and it sort of, you know, turns into actual proper wheat that you can go and harvest with a normal harvester. I didn't realise that we could do this. How cool is that? Well, I never. I always thought it was just sort of corn that you could like turn into maize. It, it, well, the, the maize you could turn into you know, forage. I didn't realize you could do it with like wheat. Can you do it with any, any cereal crop? Can you do it with oats, barley? Or is it just wheat? I'm learning, you see. So I'm hoping that we're going to get quite a lot in here. But if not, the good thing is now we've got the silo. We can go take this over. And we can obviously go and store it in the silo. Whenever you're doing like harvests like this, you're just never sure really how much it's going to take. Now, the, tra the trailer that they did give us with the contracts, I really do think that's quite a, a small one. You definitely would need a silo for a job like this. Because, well, we're already, already at like 13, nearly 13,000 litres. And I don't think that trailer would have been much more. So I really do believe that would have kind of filled the trailer. Yeah, we're 13,500 on one pass. I'm glad I've got the bigger trailer. Now, are we going to get it all in this one trailer? I'm not sure, if I'm honest. Probably not. But we'll give it a go. So, let's sit back. Cue the music. Let's get this done. Well, things are looking good then. We have our first full trailer of 125,000 litres. And uh, yeah, there's still a lot to go. So let's go get the rented tractor. So let's go and get this into our new silo. Then we'll open the gates up. We'll go in here. And we'll be able to store it in here. Now, we can get a bigger trailer. So we, we can sort of adapt this trailer to be like a chaff trailer, which is just holds, I think, a couple of million litres. But I'm not really sure. I, I didn't. I mean, this is least. If it was our own one, we could do it. And we could sort of change it between the chaff one and the normal one. But obviously, when it's least, you can't. So I would need to send this back. So I think we'll just keep going with this one. 
and we'll just sort of come back and do a few little trips so let's get back to the field let's get some more done so back at the field what i might do then is we'll just see about setting a worker on now again this is going to cost me a bit more money i don't really want to spend too much money doing this but if we get a worker running along like this we could drive the tractor now the worker is going to miss a little bit obviously because it was me doing it last time my my lines aren't completely straight where well, workers are we'll come back and get it it's not, not an issue so you can see looking at this now that we've we've done a, a fair amount done a, a few rows here gone around done a couple of headlands and then a little section over there oh why has he stopped am i am i going too far ahead of the worker maybe we're too far away no I seem to be okay now still think having it on the back although the, the th oh sorry I keep, I keep going too fast for the worker sorry worker I still think when I had it on the back the only issue that I found was trying to turn the trailer is quite close to the the harvester and you sort of find that it was a little bit it's snug to do some turning if you if you're not careful and also because it picks it up the back end's quite low and I managed to get it stuck on the curb down here you would have seen that in the time lapse Yeah, it's, this isn't going too bad. But again, I, I do think this is probably a bit of a an expense that I don't really need to do by having a worker. So I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll leave this here. We'll drop this off and we'll we'll move this over. Now the worker's not going to go too far. We'll go put that over there, and then obviously we'll jump back into this and we'll take it off the worker. We'll sack the worker because the worker is going to cost me a lot of money. Let's hook up to that again. You can see, yeah, it's turning not not bad, but you just got to be a little bit careful. So I think I'm going to go through and get this little bit down here finished off. Probably going to be a good idea. So let's just go around here to see if we can get this finished off. definitely going to be a nice amount but i just wonder how much are we going to be left with is this going to give us a nice amount of money at the end there was a bit of a mystery of knowing like how much we're going to get over the contract and how much money this is going to make us at the end the contract alone is nearly what thirty thousand. i'm not sure how much they're going to take off us for the actual lease of the equipment but still it's, it's a nice bit of money and it's something different now there's a load of foraging contracts that we could do so I might do some of these off camera and then show you obviously before we start the episode about contracts that I have completed. It's just a way to try and speed things up a little bit. Because the problem is with a start from scratch series like this is things might get repeated quite a lot because well contracts are really the only way we can make some money unless we try and buy a forest and maybe cut down some trees. And I do want to try and progress and uh, see if we can try and buy some animals and get our own little fields and work towards buying that big farm. So I'm going to go through, get another trailer, see you back at the silo. So another 125,000 litres going into the silo, giving us 250,000 litres altogether. Not bad. It's going to be a lot. I'm hoping it's going to be a nice amount of money. I mean, I don't know exactly how much chaff goes for. Do we see if we can have a look? Well, chaff is not showing on the list of different things here. We've got everything else apart from sort of chaff on its own. So, I'm not sure, to be honest, how much we're actually going to get for this. So, we're just going to have to see. It's got to go across according to the contract to the biogas plants. So, fingers crossed, it's going to be a nice amount. Let's get back in the field. Things are not looking too bad here on the field. Just got this little section in the middle to do. I wonder if we're going to get this all in another trailer, or is it going to be another two trips? Hard to guess. I think we're going to get this all in. Quite nice to see then what, what, what we're going to get from this. It will just let us know whether forage contracts are worth doing or not. I mean, there's quite a few. Let's go on a quick look. We'll just pause for a second. Let's go on a quick look on the contract list. So this is the one we've got at the minute, which is, like I said, it's nearly 30,000. Plus, like I said, I'm not sure exactly how much they're going to take offers for this one. 
Now, there's a lot, I mean, a lot of bailing contracts here. Look at this. There's a lot. Dear me. Now, forage. You see, there is still quite a few. Look at this. 63,000. What's that one? Canola on field one. Let's take to the uh, biomass heating plant. Oh, the biomass heating plant. That's not the biogas plant, is it? It's the heating plant. Well, it's a different area, I think. Or is that what it's named on this map? We will find out. But yeah, there's plenty here that we could do. Look, there's barley on this one. Wheat, oats. So it does sort of prove, I did ask at the beginning when we started this, whether you could do if it was just wheat, but no, oats, barley, canola. That's pretty cool. So yeah, there's quite a few different forage ones we could do here. So if we do get a nice bit of money, that one could be a good one. 63,000. Now, if there's any contracts that I do off camera, I did say at the, the start of this series that I wasn't thinking of doing that because I want to prove to you that contracts have been done, that it's not, I've just not going to like added money in. But then I forgot that it does actually come up here showing you they've been completed and obviously we can collect the money. So if I don't complete them and just wait until I show you on camera, me completing them, you'll see where the money's coming from. So that's probably a better way of doing it. It's just we need to give the money a bit of a bit of a boost. We need to get jobs done. But I don't really want to do every single episode doing the same thing again and again and again. Not, not for you watching. I want to try and make this interesting. Obviously, we've got a lot of things then when we do move into that big farm. We should hopefully have our own fields, we'll be able to move animals. So yeah, things are looking up. So let's get this section done. See if we can get it all in one more trailer. I think it's going to be doable. Everything done in the field then we are left with 80,454 litres in here so because the field's all done we can come back to the silo instead of putting this in the silo we'll now fill this up from the silo to get a full trailer to take across to where we need to go now i'm glad i checked the contract because it's not the biogas plant it's the biomass heating plant so full trailer i'll see you over there so this then is the biomass heating plant just here, the green beacon of light. Turn in here, barrier should open. Look at that, I love these automatic barriers. I wish we could have them as a mod. You could actually use them yourself, they'd be cool, they would. So we just back up here, I'm guessing we just drop it in this grate here. It says chaff, let's go. So this is going to come out pretty quick. Let's see what this does on the contract. 42% transportive per field, 13. Ooh. Let's go back and get the rest. Back with the second trailer fill. Let's go tip it in and see. Does this do anything for the contract now? Ooh, 84% transported. I don't think how much we've got left. Is it another trailer fill? I think it's another trailer fill. So let's go back and get that. So the remainder bit is here, 80,454 litres. Now, it said 84% transported. Is this going to complete it? I'm a little worried that... Is it going to... It didn't seem very... It didn't seem high enough, that, to me. Is this going to complete it? If it does, I'll be, we're not going to get much, I don't think. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what happens, then. Because, the, obviously, the forage harvesting contract is not like a standard in-game contract it's a new mod that's been added on to do this and i'm just worried if it's gonna i know sometimes you can have issues with contracts where they don't complete i'm a little worried now so let's see what happens oh look i didn't need to worry did i 
it did complete and we got a whopping massive 2313 you can just see there in the trees 2313 excess off that which i don't know for chaff i suppose that's not bad but the good thing is that we have got the remainder contract now what i've got to be careful of we are in the tractor here which is actually leased so i was just thinking oh let's just go collect that all the equipment will go back but then this trailer will suddenly be abandoned at the uh, heating plant and we don't want that do we so we need to get this back so i wonder how much he's taken off us for leasing the uh, equipment straight across here that's it just don't look craig boy straight across don't worry about the give weight well uh, before we finish as well we'll have a quick look and see it on the garden if everything's looking good on there the harvest is still in the field but we don't need to worry about that like i said as soon as you complete the contract it will go so we'll just put this over here for now because this is it's our trailer well i say it's, it's not our trailer such we it's not part of the contract we've leased it so we can sort of use that we'll put it in there we'll see if we can give it a little um a little bath we'll spin around can we give it a little bath with our button there we go we'll drop that there and then basically we'll just leave us here and hop out the rest that's going to go we still got some uh silage additive there now obviously we're not going to be able to get that back what's still left in the machine but these aren't much at all they were what 30 pound per one or something like that yeah not much at all so let's go on and complete the contract see how much we end up with so they're taking 1153 off us which isn't bad you think they give us a tractor the harvester the header trailer it's not bad is it really so 28,139 we're left with we will go and complete that now just looking oh this is bailing is that big 63,000 it is field one is field one big that's the one we planted in a previous episode Mm, that is quite a size, that isn't it? 63,000. Well, we're left with 35,500, which isn't too bad. We'll leave them there. I mean, we, we, could, we, we can pick them up and carry them if I wanted to. But we'll leave them there for now. Well, that was a good job, that was. I like that. Nice to do something a little bit different. Forage harvesting. Who knew that that was a thing as a contract? Anyway, let's uh, go and have a quick look on our gardens and see if we've got any progress. Just thinking, actually, we don't really need to go over to the garden. We're not going to see nothing because it's storing everything here. And yeah, these are a little slow. If you look at the little garden that we've got, we've got literally 10 litres of lettuce, 10 of red lettuce, and 8 litres of melon. 20 on there, it's a bit quicker. And obviously the big garden, again, is a little bit quicker. Strawberries don't look too bad. Melon. Strawberries look the quickest on there, but... um. Yeah, I, I think that's going to have to be a next episode. I think by the time we go to bed and we go into the next month, maybe because we're nearly 20 past five in the afternoon now, so it's going to start to be going dark soon. So I think that's going to be a good time to wrap this up. And I hopefully, maybe next time we can have a look at putting a, a sheep pasture in because we've got two fields of grass to cut. Maybe we could use one for silage and one to feed the sheep with. So we'll look into that on the next episode. So... For now, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching and I really do appreciate it. I will see you in the next one.